Welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tech Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. Sometimes when you're running qPCR experiments, it can be difficult to distinguish real signal from background noise. Unexpected or variable CT values can leave you wondering whether your data are reliable. It's a common problem. So let's talk about useful tips on how to tell whether your CT values are real signal or background noise. First, make sure to run a no template control to compare your experimental samples to. If your sample signal looks similar to your no template control, it's most likely background. Also, check your replicates. If the CT values vary among the replicates, for example, 36, 37, and 40, then they are likely not real signal. You can also do a reality check on your CT values. In general, single copy detection occurs at a maximum CT of 37 in a 20 microliter qPCR. Any signal seen later than this is not likely to be real amplification. Often, you can easily tell whether you're looking at true signal or noise by looking at your data in the instrument or analysis software. Here's an example using the Design and Analysis 2 application on Thermo Fisher Connect. These wells are questionable. If we change our plots to linear view, we can see that these curves are actually flat and no amplification is occurring. We can see this in the multi-component view as well. This view shows the curves of each dye in the reaction at each cycle and is very useful for troubleshooting. In this way, we can check the curve's exponential amplification, which indicates real signal as opposed to a linear upward drift, which can be caused by probe degradation at the end of the run. We can even overlay the wells with our no-template control samples and see that there's not much difference, so we can be confident that those wells did not represent real signal. Finally, you can also make sure the threshold is going through the exponential phase of the curve. For example, here, you see that there are CTs at 28 and 36, but the curve with the CT of 36 is at the plateau, not the exponential phase, so this is most likely not real signal. The next time you look at qPCR data, try some of these troubleshooting tips to determine whether you're looking at true signal or background noise. We also offer training courses on the principles of qPCR and data analysis at our regional training centers. Check it out at thermofisher.com slash training. Thanks for watching. Find more Applied Biosystems Tech Talk videos at thermofisher.com slash tech talk.